Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsellis. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 14 by 14 inch canvas that is dry. I primed this all today. Three coats of, uh, what's the name of it? It's a Sherwin-Williams, it's called Center Stage. Reminds me of Frog Green. Anyway, I've been having a lot of fun just putting dots on. And this is Fandango, it's a prism pour. I'm a color art affiliate and it's a color art product. And I'm thinking, I like curves. I was using a squeegee, you could do that. But I've been using all kinds of other things. And I'm going to continue. This is a Royal Sapphire. Every other dot. I've got an indigo blue, actually indigo violet. And I was wondering how I was going to like that, and I do. I'm going to change it up a little bit though, if I can get the bottle open quickly enough. That'll teach me for not checking my bottles, but it's only a little tiny. This is the jasmine, it's a primary element. It's a fantastic color, as you can well see. I'm just, tr I'm just going for the drama. I'm going to use a medium-sized card about the width of a playing card, the long way. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to do it in two directions. Maybe three. Maybe a shorter card will work better. <laughs> Without animal hair. I have several. <laughs> I have animals, go figure. I want a wider card. So I can pick up four of these. I think I'm going to go wider still. Use my residuals. Whoops. Because I can, I need to wipe that card off though. That's not a bad start. I kind of like the dots where the where the paint was and it didn't stick. Keep my turntable from moving. That's kind of fabulous. Now I'm going to take the smeary part and probably put other paint over it. That's my opportunity. I'm going to wipe off my cards. Generally I like to try and use the paint up, but it's not an imperative by any stretch of the imagination. I think I could use a paper towel to be handy though. I think that would have been a really good idea. This is sour lemon with some orange crush in it. It is if it's open. Uh, it's just almost empty. It's time to mix it. Whoops. It had something in it. A lump. I did actually bring some Q-tips out today, just in case I needed to show anybody how you pick up paint that's in the wrong place. I'm inclined to use some saffron, which is a prism pour. The sour lemon is a prism pour too. Hope you guys stop by my spring store at some point in time. I put a whole lot of beautiful new designs there. <laughs> Especially with these dotty things. I think it's going to be the jasmine again, although it's really tempting to put to use some of the maybe I'll mix it up. 
Whoops, that was not right. Just dribbled straight across. I'm going to include some, some wild orchid, I think. Yep, that'll work. I did the same thing twice. Wow. Well, the truth is that you can, because it's not a perfectly clean process, you can definitely paint right over parts that you're unhappy with the way they turned out. I've been using um, white unicorn spit because I don't, even though I love boon gel, I don't have any white and it's just thick enough and its applicator is perfect. I'm pretty sure if you look on my Amazon link you might find it there. I know I put it there a long time ago but I have too many things on my Amazon link. If you shop my Amazon link, you help me out, by the way. And it's on the link tree. The link tree is below Show More. It's right near the 20 to 30% off coupon code for color art products that's happening right now. And also near the 10% off pixel paint designs. I think this time I'm going to use my spatula. I'm going to wipe it off in between. I want to use the extra. I wasn't sure I was going to get away with that. But sometimes a little goes a long way. Okay, so I need a big card. And I have not done anything this large, so maybe I'm not going to do it now either. Let me find a smaller card. Let's not bite off more than I can chew. Let's try. And a smaller card for the residuals. I actually have a beveled card. I wonder if that will work the way it's supposed to. Looks like it might. Flip it over for the other side. If you're looking for perfection, this is not for you. Because it's a sort of a it's a it's a new kind of go with the flow, and for me it's abstract expressionist because I totally just keep expressing myself with colors. Now I'm being called to orange, but I think it's going to have to be. Orange Crush after I use the Saffron. I might use the black with the Saffron first. That's appealing to me right now. Little white dots from having dipped the bottle into the white unicorn spit. I don't think it's going to be that I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. And lo and behold, my orange crush is open. It is a prison pour. I might put some pink in there. I could probably put some yellow in there too. Or sour lemon with orange crush. Once I get these little curves down, I can go in either direction depending on the way I'm feeling at the moment. I'm not sure anything is going to come of it, but I did play with some of this, something I did yesterday, to find out how I liked layering things, and I like layering things, so if it's a stage one, so be it. It might wind up in the members only library. There is a members only option to join my channel and it's $9.99 a month and you get access to like 120 videos going up all the time. I think I'm going for the purple. This is Wild Orchid, which is not supposed to be dripping like that. I 
I've just helped myself decide which direction the, the other line is going in. I still want to use the squeegee sometimes. Whoa. Okay. That was interesting. I did one of these yesterday and I wound up adding dots and lines afterwards and I liked how that looked a lot. Matter of fact, that's on spring. Spring is the clothing you see below the video. I'm going to use my residuals wherever I'm inclined. I didn't have any there. Paint chips not not allowed. I want some really light green, and I have some triple sec, which is a prism pour. Uh, yeah, it's a prism pour. As much as I want that to go in the other direction, I think I'm going to let this go in this direction. getting cooler. Take my residuals, put them right down there. Not sure about that white spot. Let's just pretend it belongs there. Now I'm being called to some blue. Cerulean blue. And I'm going to make an attempt. I'm going to take a chance and put it right over the top of this other color, set of colors. And then I'm going to try and get to that yellow green. To trip Again with the... It's spitting at me. I'm not sure you even need to worry that much about putting these in a straight line so long as you're going to pull them, a bunch of them, in one direction together. I can't go that way. Well, I guess I could. Well, that's not so bad. That's kind of interesting, I guess. We'll see how I feel about it in a minute. Let's go for some of that triple sec. As long as I can get it open. Helps if you untwist the top. Wow, that's bright. That's probably just what's needed without the dribbles. And I've got around here somewhere. Let's see if I can get this Tuscan sun to come out. This is older than older than time. But it's still coming out. This bottle must have been mixed forever. I've got some bitter lime too, which is a primary element. sort of hoping that the um, rounded end of my OXO omelet turning flip and fold special that I've been using will be helpful in these areas. I guess I might have found some colors that don't down in a new place. kind of want a rounded end thing. I wonder if I've got one. No, but I've got a playing card. I'm going to use my spatula like I said I was. That was kind of cool. I went in from either side. 
I'm not in love with this yet, but it doesn't mean it couldn't change. I, you know what I haven't used is my, is my red violet. And I think really, no matter how, what stage it's at, if I wanted to make it cool, and I was frustrated with it, which is possible at this point, I could probably always just add dots. I've got three minutes left. Before I have to decide what happens next, I'm going to use short card. take only partial, see I have plenty of paint left on my card. Plenty of bottles in the way too. That way I get to use my residual and that makes it, things are getting better. They are, I think. I'm not positive. Not 100% yet. I've got a bottle in here. All right, so I'm thinking I like that Tuscan Sun. I didn't get nearly enough of it. And if I've got enough in the bottle to get some out without the marble clogging the tip, I'll be styling. Now what do I put in between? Do I risk it? That's already there. Let's take a chance. That is cerulean blue. And I do, I have a nice assortment of cards. And I'm going to keep taking the residuals that are on them, putting them somewhere else to add interest to things. I do actually like putting black in. So let's see what happens if I put a little black in. Kind of want to do the same thing with the white. Kind of want to do the same thing with all kinds of colors actually. So let's just do that. I think the the jasmine that I always claim saves the day is going to do it again. I hope so. When that timer goes off, I'll be down to the last minute. And I'm beginning to really like this more and more. I hope I'm right. Let's try some of the white. All right, that's my last minute. I should tell you guys whatever I haven't told you, which is, I've told you quite a few things. Please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos, you help me out. Your comments keep my morale boost, and I really appreciate you checking out my my channel. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time most days. Questions are welcome and encouraged. I hope you come again. I'll be here. Until I change my mind, it's gonna st it's gonna stay seven days a week. I've got a little bit of color there. So I'm obviously not completely done. And I will run out of time. But I kind of don't hate it either. And it's a good first stage. That is Pebio Iridescent Blue Blue Green. If I just dot till I'm, no, you're gone. Okay, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This will look a little different when you see it again. Or maybe I'll just part to it and you can find that under the video.
There we go. Hi. I'm back. There's a part two. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I'm going to keep playing with this. The colors should be listed under the video from part one. I just put some Pebio iridescent blue green down. I'm loving the way that looks. I haven't used any of it to put dots down, and I'm very tempted to do that. I mean dots that I was going to pull. I was threatening to save it with dots and now I'm going to try that. I thought about taking one of these and doing a shovel pour over the top of it. That might be pretty cool. This is my red violet. Vivid, intense, fluorescent. And I think that's going to help me. Not sure what that is. Whatever it is, it doesn't necessarily belong there. Let's put a dot on it. <laughs> Must be some leftover white. So the yellow is still calling me. And I'm beginning to like this. Maybe it might be over really quick. I like the dots the way they dry because they're they stay puffy, which is pretty cool. was a little sticky. Thumbnails are handy too. So what have I got? I've got saffron. I've never worked with a green background canvas I don't think. I've been starting to use clusters of dots which is kind of cool. I'm not too sure about how the um, saffron worked over the top of the green. It looks a little dull. But I'm pretty sure the dots will, uh, will rescue that. I've got some of this indigo violet. Just going where whims take me, basically. And putting dots on areas that feel like they need camouflaging. As well as marks, which works for me. Not certain about that one yet. I don't have any rules about doing this because I've really never done it before. Well, I've done it before, but recently. It's a series. I'm definitely feeling something needs to be in here that maybe should be orange. Waggly line. 
kind of want to put some more weird marks in. <laughs> When I lift my bottle, I'm careful to not let the little tail, or I try to be careful not to let the little tail snap back. So lift up, wait for it to release. I want some white, but I'm not sure where to put it. But I think it needs something over here. I think I want to cover up my mistake. Yep, I like that. It's more like a collage than a painting. It's very abstract expressionist. Oh, now I've got a bubble in one of my dots. I think you could probably always use a skewer as long as it's got... I'll try really hard not to put my hand in the painting. Just want to round up my dots a little bit. The green is kind of exciting. It's getting better. It really is. I think I'm back to the jasmine. work miraculously well to, to confuse the eye. So if you have those places that you're not happy with, you can just distract distract yourself. I'm just about done. I'm being called to some cerulean blue. I hadn't put much of anything in there. I intended on using a lot more. Oh, that's got a snappy little tail on it. I gotta be careful of that. This is fun. I have fun doing this. This is very therapeutic. I can't freak out or panic that it's not going well. I think I'm gonna do a cerulean blue corner. Yes. I am almost done. Hopefully my head isn't blocking everything. I kind of want to thin that lump out, but I'm probably testing fate. Am I done? Not yet. Almost. Still looking for little mishaps cover with my dotting process. Cover up my mistakes. I think I'm pretty happy with this actually. The eye moves around okay inside.
seem to have a lump. I prefer my dots round, but it doesn't mean I won't take them any way I can get them. This weird little set of marks over here wants to be something else, I think. Okay, I think that's it. No, I guess I'm going to give myself permission to put a couple more stripes in there. That's cool. I like this. I wasn't too sure for a while. It didn't feel balanced to me, but I'm pretty happy with it now. I got a few black dots dashes. Might want a few more just to do the move the eye around gig. I don't want to go overboard, but I think it's long past that opportunity to save my... Where's that black going to go? Right there. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to shimmer this at you. I'm going to call it good or call it something, call it finished. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but I like it. I think it'll work well as, uh, as potentially fabric or decorating something. Looks kind of cool from up here. Can't wait to see the thumbnail. There's a fair amount of shimmer in there. Hopefully you can see some of that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for your kind words and your comments. Look for my paint pouring recipe underneath show more. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I hope this looks half as cool to you as it does to me because it looks pretty cool. Don't forget you can shop my Amazon link and don't forget to look for the Pixel Paint Designs 10% off Australian Floetrol, Pebio Paints, and uh, Boom Gel as, lo as well as other stuff. But the color art coupon code is slides from 20 to 30% depending on how much you're investing. My community board is going to show you tomorrow's video. Don't forget, please, questions are encouraged. Please feel free. Uh, my spring clothing below the video, as well as Society6, Le Gallerist, FinerAmericanPixels.com are all places that you can have my designs transposed so that you can own an original design that probably no one else will own, ever. Don't ask me why. I need... to blend the outstanding black marks in a little bit better. And hopefully that'll be okay. And if it won't be, I'll say Domino's, anyone? Not the pizza place, the game. I just like making things a little weird, and that's going to work. Okay, bye for now. Priscilla out. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at, Ex at Expressionist Art Fluid Art Studio. Uh, saying I love you guys. I hope you come again tomorrow. Bye for now. I'll see you and on. You inspire the heck out of me. Keep coming back. Thanks. Bye for now. I, I know. I've done it three times now. See ya. <laughs>